also been on the scene of breaking news all morning in South Charlotte. Our Faith Alford has been live where a truck was dangling off of a bridge, had lanes closed in the outer loop of 485 right near Westinghouse Boulevard. Faith, have crews had any luck getting that truck out of the road? Alex, I got a bit of good news there. I think they are making some progress. Right now, we're on Westinghouse Boulevard, and this accident happened on 485 Westinghouse Boulevard near that exit. I'm going to step aside and show you all what we're seeing this way. Now, this call came in around 3.21 a.m. NCDOT estimated that this is area is actually going to be opening up around 7 a.m., but if you look on the bridge, there were two trailers up there earlier. Now, there's only one truck bed left, so they are making some progress of removing this vehicle, so hopefully they can open up the those lanes within this next hour. Now, what we do know right now is that Charlotte Fire did tweet out about their hazmat team being on site of this area, so they are working to clean that up, making sure no, no hazardous um, or road conditions that could impact drivers are happening right now. And they have underneath the bridge completely blocked off. They don't want any cars coming in and out of that area. Just in case anything happens, they want to make sure that this is um, a safe area for drivers. And we still don't know what how this happened, so we are working to learn about this investigation and just learning about this but we can tell you that just being out here there is a water on the roads you know those that, that rain that came through definitely left an impact it's, it's definitely still very much a lot of water on these roads so if you are traveling you want to be careful and just be mindful of that and also something to be mindful of that we've been seeing all morning is drivers stopping and asking CMPD where can we go how can we turn around how do we reroute because this entire area is blocked off and that's where our Becca Birdsall comes in she's at our first alert traffic center with an update for us becca how can drivers work around this faith starting to see delays continue to grow from this crash i do have that best workaround for first alert traffic sponsored by toyota up north charlotte first uh, for perspective i want to show you where that crash is currently on the outer loop of i-485 at westinghouse boulevard this is just before south boulevard inner loop not being impacted by this but the road is closed all the way to 77 so you're going to want to exit off from the outer loop of 485 to south tryon street take that to carowinds boulevard to Pineville Rock Hill Road, where you then can get back onto the outer loop of 485. Certainly not an easy alternate route. So if you do normally take the outer loop of 485 in South Charlotte, definitely want to allow yourself some extra time. 77.